Are you suffering from vertical video syndrome? Not to worry, I'll show you how to fix that. Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Now, since I've started doing loads of stories on Snapchat, I've had the question time and time again, how can I fix my vertical videos? How can I make vertical videos horizontal? I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I do, get ready to take a screenshot with your mobile device of the next few seconds. I'm going to give you my snap code. If you'd like to follow me on Snapchat, you can do that. That's coming up now. Okay, let's get down to business. Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and here's that awful, horrible, ugly, vertical video. Oh, let's, um, let's drag it here to create a sequence. And you do that. Oh, it's a horrible vertical sequence. Oh, I can't stand it. No. Okay, so how do we fix that? Very, very straightforward. Uh, actually, what you'll want to do now is go File, New, and you want to create another sequence. And uh, just go for the defaults here. But very, very important when you go into the settings, we need to find a setting here that can handle. Uh, we might want to go for, let's see whether DV PAL will work. One of these settings is pretty good. Digital SLR, that's the one. 1080p, 1080p, 30 frames should be good. Aha, yes. Now we've got a width and a height of 1920 by 1080. That is horizontal 1080p video. That's what we want. So make a note of that setting. Sequence presets, digital SLR, which is DSLR, 1080p, 30 frames. You can go for 25 or 24 if you want the cinematic effect, but 30 is the highest available here in Premiere Pro. Click OK. Right. Now we can see a lovely horizontal preview there, which is what we want. But when I drag my vertical video onto video track one, uh, OK, it's going to ask me, it doesn't match the sequence settings. Do you want to keep or change? I want to keep those settings. There you go. There is my vertical video looking, well, rather awful still. It's still got black around each side, hasn't it? So what do we do to make this a little bit better? Yeah, I'm looking rather sad there, aren't I? I need to be happy like that. Um, so what I'll need to do now is click on the video part, and you can click the motion drop down. I can scale this down or up as I wish. Uh, I might leave it just there at 100%. But I'm actually going to duplicate it a couple of times onto another track here. Uh, so let's duplicate that video. And I'm going to Command-C or Control-C on PC. Command V or Control V on PC. Now what I'm going to do is take my rather stern face and I'm going to position it. You see here you've got positioning. So if I move this one, it's going to move it all around. Hang on, I'm clicking on the wrong one. Let's try again. Let's do that. There you go. You see that? If I move that, so I'm going to move that over here. And now that's on the left hand side. See that? That's perfect. So let's move my vertical video over there. Oh, there's a couple of me now. I might want to actually move the original up to track one. Perfect. OK. And this one can go just over there. So there's now two Mike Russells, which is really worrying. What's even more worrying is if I do Command V again and move this in. Uh, and then I'm going to adjust it out like I show you, sh like I've demonstrated before, <laughs> even in motion position. Uh, and we want to move, 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 move until we can see a third Mike Russell. Okay, three Mike Russells on the screen. Doesn't quite look good because if I start playing now, Yo syndrome. <laughs> it's just three Mike Russells, which is unless you want to achieve that effect, uh, it's not really very good. So remember, the original is now on track three. That's the center one. Then on tracks two and one, we've got the left and right Mike Russell. Head over into the effects area here. You can access that uh, fairly easily. You might need to change to the effects view to be able to access it. And you want to look for your blurs, okay? There's lots of different blurs, but I prefer. This is my favorite one here. I don't know how to say it. Gaussian blur? I hope I said that right. Anyway, drop it onto one track here and just change the blurriness from zero to 100. Boom. OK, let's do it again on the other track. Drag that blur onto the track, zero to 100. And there we go. You have made a vertical video horizontal. Perfect stuff. Exactly what you want. That's how you do it in Premiere Pro.